everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network, my name is Zira, and today we are once again playing Space Agency. So today, we are on mission number 36, the Ion Drive Test. Alright, so these are brand new here. Let's go to our briefing here. Mission number 36, Iron Drive Test. Our objection, ob objectives are to add a second solar panel, add the Ion Drive, and then get the velocity into the green. Right? Alright, so here's a little picture. For Gold Award, we need to complete the mission in 11 minutes 40 seconds at a cost of 13.35 million or less. So let's find out what's going on here. The agency's scientists have developed a new type of propulsion device, the Ion Drive. The Ion Drive is powered by electricity. It is much less powerful than a traditional chemical engine, but it will run for as long as the electrical power... Oh, there is electrical power available. A prototype Ion Drive has been built and now requires testing in space. A test ship is under construction near the Space Station STA. Complete construction of the ship by adding a second solar panel and the ion drive itself. The solar panel will need to be powered up and opened. Note you can find the ion drive in the station parts menu once the solar panels are operational. Solar panels are operational. Okay. Connect the ion drive to them and fire the engine. The mission will be complete when you get the velocity gauge into the green. All right, so let's go here. Now, I do not believe that we will be able to do this because our, our price is kind of low for using a rocket that will be able to actually carry this stuff here. Let's try, we're going to try one thing here. We're going to see if we can maybe create some sort of something that will allow us to do this in one launch. But I, I don't think we're going to be able to with the $13 million price tag here. There we are. Payload. We're going to need another heavy tug here. Heavy tug. We're at 70. So that's not a good sign. Because when I add this iron drive... Ooh! 60! Ooh! We might be able to do this. What do I need here? I need this. That gives us 10,425,000, but we only have a 56% height escape achievement thing here. Hmm. All right, so, so if we go back for a second here, hold on. Hold on, what's our, what's our maximum? Nope, nope, come on, please. Our maximum is 13,350, huh? So, the long march is four in both categories. So when I come here to like, uh, the Arian 6 is going to be the next one. The fuel, cap it has higher fuel capacity here with the same amount of lift, but uh, my... My boosters are going to be more expensive too, aren't they? 1.5 1. 1. instead of 1 million. So, ooh, 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 ooh. We might be able to do this in one launch. Bam. Now, next. 1.5 million for the large tug and 1.5 for the heavy tug module here. So, if I... Where is my heavy tug module? There's my heavy tug. Okay, let's put our Arian 6 boosters. We need to put the solar panel here. We're at 11, so I mean, we're, we're close on this one. And then we're going to need the heavy tug. Ooh, 12.7. <laughs> we're going to be like right on here. 76% escape 
elevation, 12.9. So we are like 400,000 clear on this with one launch. Um, so I guess we're going to try it here. 12.92, right? Can we do this? At a 13.35, yes. So this is good. Um, we're going to have to go. We're going to have to try it. So let's launch T minus countdown. Five, four, four, and three, we hit the gas. Two, and bam. That's perfect. Lift off. Okay. All right. Tower cleared. Oh, this thing is sluggish. I really like these Aryans. These Aryan, this Aryan equipment here program. is um, like great for my style of like launching rockets. Yeah. Oh, but we're tight because we're heavy and it wants Booster to roll. Set. It really wants to roll on me. So as long as we're careful, we should be good. Just about to see stars. Approaching engine cutoff. There they are. Stage set. Perfect. Okay, so we are heading to STA, the station, right? And, um, well, we're about to launch. So he said, well, the briefing. I say he because the announcer voice thing is a, you know, a guy. But uh, we want to head here, like, just, just below the station marker. Because um, we want to pass the station and not run into it. And I think that's probably about good right there. Bam. Lock ourselves in the 180 degree position. Now let's make sure we're going to pass station without smashing into things. Yes, we will. All right. All right, so let's start slowing down around, oh, let's say 50 here. We'll do a nice slow down. All right. Hmm. My, my one question is, there's... There's no power on this thing yet. How are we going to do this? Like, look. See, there's there's no power, so we, we're going to need to... We're going to need to, like, steal something off the space station, I think. Alright, let's set ourselves up here. Come on. That's probably close enough, right here. Alright, and... Set. do this. We'll get ourselves moving, break out, and then we set. can stop moving this one over. There we go. Let this one stop right about there. Now, let's check this thing and make sure there... No, there are no batteries on board. What do we have here? We have one full battery. It looks like the power's just off on this thing, right? So if I connect this in... Connect this thing in. Check my fuel. My fuel is turned off. Okay. Get back over there. Turn you on. Okay, and we want to let go of the station. Oh no, my nav computer's not on. Alright, we're good though, because we should only be moving backwards at approximately one. Online. Yeah, right there. Okay. So, ooh, look, look how perfect that was. <laughs> it's almost like I know what I'm doing here. All right, so let's let's get you moving. Ooh, am I gonna clear that? Docking successful. There we go. That's probably good. Okay, now we can deal with our power situation. Turn the power on. Get the solar panel on. Okay, that's good. Unconnect the power. We have power to this. Go back here. Bam. Ooh, is that moving? I don't, I don't think it is. I think we're good. Okay. 
wait for that to pass. A little bit more, right about there. This one wants to go that way, and I want to stop it right there. Probably wasn't the smartest idea to keep it moving backwards like that, but, but that's okay. We're good. Everything's fine. How are you? Alright. Bam. Move that one up. Okay, we want to gently, gently move this into place. <gasps> Space Payload station! Released. Hmm. Okay, I thought that was going down for sure. Alright, uh, let's turn you off. Connect your power back up so you recharge, because we may need to use you in the future. And then let's see, we're going to be good on this. Alright, our connection is Payload made. Released. Now we need to go and connect all the power to everything. Bam. Right. Uh, okay, so, so what do I do here? Literally, I just press this. Okay. That's awesome. Um... I wonder how much of a power load this is on the system. Ooh, that's a that's a cool sound. 54, so 52, 102. It doesn't actually tell me how much it uses, so cool. Um, let's just sit here and keep um, accelerating so we don't go over on our time. Almost there. Wow, this is slow. <laughs> they were right when they said they're nowhere near as powerful as conventional chemical engines, huh? We're gonna need to use like 50 of these things on the next mission for it to actually be worth something. Hey, we're in the green, mission and complete. we have completed the mission with gold award in a time of 6 minutes 40 seconds at a cost of 12.995 million dollars. So thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network, bringing you Space Agency. Next time when we return, we will do the final mission. Have yourselves a wonderful night, everybody.